Assalamu alaikum. This is Asan al Islam Iman. In this video, I am going to demonstrate my first project in my virtual life, which was actually implemented uh, with the programming language Java. And the project title is Automated Attendance System. And I am using a Jam Controller Panel for activating the Apache and MySQL. And you know jam is a free and open source course platform web server click in the admin panel it will open the local host php my admin and php my admin is a free and open source administration tool for mysql and you know mysql is open source uh, relational database management system so without any further ado let's get started uh, so i have no login space okay i am going to run and build uh, we can search anything in google engine from here also if we search AIUV and press enter, it will open up in the browser with the search result uh, of AIUV. This icon also works similarly. If I click Twitter, it will open up the Twitter. If I click LinkedIn, it will open up the LinkedIn. Okay, so now I'm going to log in. Log in user. Name I have given AIOD and password AIOD and uh, here I am using toggle. Uh, if I want to uh, see my password, I can just press now. I'm going to sign in after login. This is the main dashboard. From here, an admin can add courses or add a student. And our faculty can take attendance or see the particular student's report. So to add a course, admin have to click in this add course button. And I have to say I have already added some courses. And uh, now I am going to add another course. So to add course, I have to first <coughs> give a course code. Suppose for example, I'm doing CSA two zero one one zero and course course AI artificial intelligence and section A. If I plus add, you see uh, course is added successfully. Here, want to update any particular course? I have to search that course by uh, the ID. So if I want to update on this operating system course, I have to search at particular eight and press search. Here all information comes and if I want to update operating system two and press update. So here operating system updates. And if I want to delete this uh, so the similar way, I have to first write the course code, search there and I have to press the delete button. Can see it's gone so the next is add a student to add a student I have to click add a student I'm going to add my ID 7 10 4 11 3 uh, first name suppose uh, also known Muslim and last name I'm going to provide Imam and I to save the course so then take the course AI and you can see AI has only one section that is A it is automatically filled up in section A uh, if it press add you can see here I am added successfully and if I want to update or delete I can search by my ID simply and 
uh, suppose and to add uh, update my class names so that full name I can end as as update to say my first name is updated okay so I also can delete from her if I just press edit it will disappear so I'm not going to do that now so so the next step is tag attendance a faculty or teacher can take attendance of a student to take attendance as this is a automated taking attendance management system we are using uh, barcode to pc server scanner to take attendance automatically and it is connected to wi-fi to my android phone so uh, it has also a application in my android which uh, i have already installed so if, if i just scan my id through the application uh, my id will appear here and attendance will take automatically so to do that i am going to ask on my id so i can say attendance is taken for this day okay so if i take attendance twice like uh, for same ID in a day twice, so you can take this message will appear attendance already taken. Okay, so we can also take uh, attendance manually, uh, like click take attendance and we have to uh, insert the ID of the student, then you have to select the date and to select the uh, course and section. And just click to get an and it will take that message. So, from here, if we click the home button, I will directly go to the uh, dashboard and you can see. And if I want to see the report of any particular student, like report section A, A course AI, and ID, my ID 17, 394, the charts. You can see here I am. Here is today's attendance taken date. And uh, if I want to just calculate my mark based on my attendance, if the total number of class is 10, and if I attend just one, so if I just calculate, I have got only one mark out of 10. Yes, I have attended only one class out of 10 class okay so that's it